Well, India is not under a lockdown, nor is it likely to move to a full lockdown like the way we saw in 2020 and for a brief while in 2021. But different states have started shutting down their educational institutions temporarily, moving to online mode to protect the children from the third wave of COVID or Omicron. So you have Delhi schools which have been shut, Bengal schools which have been shut, Mumbai schools have moved to the online mode till the 31st of January. Telangana has shut till the 16th of January. In any case, for many parts in the country, next week would have been more or less a holiday because of Sankranti and Pongal. Haryana has shut down till next week. Tamil Nadu has shut schools from classes 1 to 8. But those above 9, that is 9, 10, 11, 12 and colleges, they have been kept open. So what does this really mean for those who have to take the semester to board examinations in the summer of 2022, both class 10 as well as class 12? Point number one, in your own interest, stay focused on what you need to do, especially those in class 12. Do not think that Omicron or the third wave of COVID is going to push your JE or NEET or your board examination dates or any competitive examinations that you are preparing for indefinitely. So if you love yourself, if you are concerned about yourself, if you are worried about yourself and if you want to do well, instead of wasting time watching misleading videos, focus on your preparation. That's the bottom line. That's what you need to focus on. In fact, I was live with a group of students from Bengal, Odisha and Uttarakhand yesterday evening. And I told a class 12 student precisely this, that divide time between your board examinations preparation that is semester 2 preparation and your competitive examination preparation which means allot a specified amount of time to the competitive examinations let's say two and a half hours three hours every day fixed time in the rest of the time use that time for your semester 2 board examinations because you need to prepare for both if you have done well in semester 1 you need to repeat that in semester 2 so that your overall percentage is good if you have not done very well in semester 1 in a few papers, you need to make up for that. So board examination semester 2, you cannot ignore, right? At the same time, if you are preparing for NEET, JE, CLAT, whatever board exam, competitive examinations, you need to focus and devote time to that preparation as well. Now, will this mean, will this entire Omicron, this shutdown mean that your semester 2 board examinations will get cancelled? The question I want to pose is, who said so? Exams are not scheduled before the second half of March and running into April, according to both the CBSE as well as the ICSC Council. So that means that the Council and the CBSE have the whole of January to decide on what needs to be done, what can be the possible timetable. So right now, both the CBSC and the ICSC Council are in a wait and watch mode, looking at how the situation unfolds over the next three to four weeks. Point number three, vaccination has started for those who are above 15 years of age. So those in class 10, 11, 12, right? This is a good opportunity for you to go and get that first shot, right? As early as possible. Point number four, if you are one of those students, who plan to start studying only after the exam dates are announced, then my suggestion to you is that please do not blame anyone else later on, right? Uh, yes, the mode of examination, whether it be MCQ or fully subjective type, there could be changes on that front. But that does not change your fundamental mode of studying. You still need to understand your concepts. So that does not change. So focus on that right now instead of worrying about what will happen to the exam. Exam hoga tabhi padna shuru karenge, then don't blame anyone else if that is your mental uh, approach. Point number five, please remember the larger picture. India cannot afford another lockdown the way we saw in 2020 and briefly in 2021. India's economy cannot afford it. So do not think that once again there will be full lockdown the way it was in 2020 and briefly in 2021. My last point, please do not panic, please do not spread panic, please do not spread rumors, please do not believe misleading news, please do not believe 
half truths and lies please do not believe fake news if anyone is spreading fake news report that particular person because you need to be a responsible citizen all the best to you stay safe stay well